Hey, welcome back to Half Class Gaming. I'm your host, Triggerful, and here's episode 8 of Dragon Age Origins. And, uh, we have a lot of people now, which is pretty cool. Yes. But I'm gonna Indeed. stick with Alistair, Morgan, and Leliana. They're my favorites, so. Um. So we can still go. All over there. I don't think there's much in Denerim for us to do. I'm saving the DLC until last. Still gotta kill that dragon. Yeah, so I guess it's just to the Frostback Mountains. Crap. Ah, another one of these. Ah, a fellow traveler of the fair lands. Are you a seeker, perchance? My packs are light, but I have a tome of strange origin. The Deus V Eternus, rumored to be the last message to a sinful world from the Maker himself. Hmm. Not so strange. I have five copies. Ah, will the wonders of this all too small a land never cease? Well, they will for you. Get them! <laughs> <laughs> Beha Jones. Whoa. Oh, shit. My mage is strong up there. <laughs> Weird. Was that like a quest of some sort? Because that's a really weird encounter. Alright, cool. Free XP, I guess. Bounty hunters, I see. Oh, I wish. If I aim it perfectly, I can get it in between. Nice. <laughs> said that the Darkspawn attacked it the very next day. The Darkspawn took Lothering, did they? I don't know. I expect so, since there was no one there to stop them. Well, it won't be much longer until those monsters get here. There doesn't seem to be anyone fighting them now. Hmm. Yeah, I guess everybody's tied up in Loghain's civil war. King Loghain will not... Vieta, this land is held in trust for the sovereign Dwarven kings. I cannot allow entry at this time. King Loghain demands the allegiance of the Desher, or Lords, or whatever you call them in your assembly. I am his appointed messenger. I don't care if you're the King's wiper. Orzammar will have none but its own until our throne is settled. I have urgent need to talk Who to your doesn't? King. If I don't get in, no one should. Orzammar has no King. 
Indrin Iduken returned to the stone not three weeks ago, sick over the loss of his sons. The assembly has gone through a dozen votes without agreeing on a successor. If it is not settled soon, we risk a civil war. I'm a Grey Warden. This treaty ob or obliges Orzammar to aid me. The Wardens killed King Kaelin and nearly doomed Ferelden. They're sworn enemies of King Loghain. Well, that is the royal seal. That means only the assembly is authorized to address it. Grey Warden, you may pass. You're letting in a Ooh. traitor and a foreigner. Whoa! In the name of King Loghain, Racist. I demand that you execute this stain on the honor of Ferelden. Run to your false king. The dwarves will not hear him today. You'll hear of this. King Loghain will see you quartered. You are free to enter Orzammar, Grey Warden. Though I don't know what help you will find. You're very beautiful, Morgan. Tell me something I do not know. But you are always <laughs> dressed in such rags. It suits you, I suppose. A little tear here. A little rip there to show some skin. I understand. You understand I lived in a forest, I hope. Maybe we could get you in a nice dress one day. Still, no, maybe velvet. Velvet is heavier, better to guard against the cold in Ferelden. Dark red velvet, yes. With gold embroidery. It should be cut low in the front, of course. We don't want to hide your features. Stop looking at my breasts. <laughs> it's most disturbing. You don't think so? And if it's cut low in the front, we must put your hair up. Show off that lovely neck. You are insane. I would sooner let Alistair dress me. It'll be fun. I promise. We'll get some shoes. <laughs> <gasps> shoes. We could go shopping together. Wow. That's pretty goofy. It's always funny seeing interactions with Mori again. She's just such a pessimist. It is the assembly who makes a king, and a king who nominates his successor. None of it is carried in the blood. Or as now, when someone tries using the assembly to pull a coup. Who's to say what my father said in his <coughs> final hours, when the usurper Harrowmont was the only one by his side? I'll have you thrown in prison. You've bitten off more than you can chew. Handlers, separate these dashers in the diamond quarter. I will not have Balin incite a riot. You will not speak that way about the man who should be king! <laughs> Quickly, loot him. Surfacer, I'm bid to let you walk the commons, but keep your place. Warden or not, I want order. <laughs> Surface, bro. It's kind of funny. Well, we have no king to hear Why would you want you order when you just watched a man get killed? Diamond quarter, if you want. Bunch of Desher lords bickering over sand. Balin, Arrowmont. Is one so different? No paragons here. <laughs> Sounds like I need to talk to those two. Of each other. As you've seen, keeping order down among us working people is dodgy. No place for a proper lord. Balin speaks through his second, Vartag Gavorn in the assembly. Lord Harrowmont speaks through Doolin Ferender from his estate. Yes, well. you should. around here uh I yeah i've been trying forever to find someone who really knows the surface world I, I don't suppose you've heard of something called the circle yeah I'm trying to reach someone there for years i've sent missives with every caravan but i never get a reply i want to know if they would accept me for study 
That would be wonderful. Yeah, I could probably Hello, ask them. Agnes, daughter of Janar of the Smith Pass. Tell them I've already begun reading the <clears throat> Imperium's for Tikum Kadab, and it's just fascinating. Did you know the Imperial Magister Lords once had genealogies of every human family known to produce a mage child? She's so enthusiastic and adorable. I'm glad we're helping her. <laughs> oh, I'll go pack my bags right now. I'll be waiting by my father's shop. Cool. Uh. This way, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is the diamond quarter. Warden. It is always a blessing for Orzammar to host you. I am Vartak Devorn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. What news do you bring? I need yes, aid against the Blight. I've seen it in the Shaper's library. Now the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king. And we are sadly lacking one of those right now. Okay, well, can I talk to Balin? Aramon hides behind his good reputation while sending spies and assassins. Balin can't know who to trust. It's been like a knife in the heart for Balin to see so many of his father's men stand with the Yusuf. Okay, well, I thought King Endrim himself supported Haramont. It's worst of all, that Haramont would take advantage of the dying king's delirium to plant such poisonous suspicions against his own son. After that, you understand why Balin cannot trust the hmm. word of a stranger. Well, if Balin's the son, then yeah, should be, be handed down. Aramont has engaged in a campaign of bribery and coercion to ensure that every house serves him. But if a neutral party, a stranger, were to approach certain key members, perhaps with irrefutable evidence of Haramont's deception, I'm certain my Lord Prince would show his gratitude. Hmm. All right. Aramont Tell me what to do. Of his estate to two different Deshers, Lady Dace and Lord Helm. Aramont can't possibly grant it to both of them, but they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Aramont gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. Lady All Dace right. doesn't order much, but Lord Helmy's adventurous. Likes to spend his time at tapsters in the commons. Remember, don't tell them you got these papers from me. You learned of them and drew your own conclusions. That kind of seems shady, also, the though. The assembly is in session. Enter quietly if you wish to observe. Your mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass such a risk. Half our houses would go broke without the service trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Deshers, lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward Bandalore, Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough. <laughs> the assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. Yeah, I need to talk to him, don't I? Stone. <clears throat> I'm sorry. This is the assembly of the clans. Only Deshers and occasional guests of state are allowed in. You don't recognize a Grey Warden? Forgive me. I'm so exhausted. I completely I'm like the only non-dwarf here. Guard. Like, come on. Welcome to Orzammar, Warden. I hope you can forgive our unrest. The loss of our king has hit us hard. Respect for your role is great. But you won't receive a proper hearing until we have a king on the throne. A blight is coming. But it will still seem distant compared to the empty throne. The assembly is blind to all else. 
All right. This guy kind of seems impartial. So. I wonder who he wants. I only wish there was more I could do for you. Warden, I'm afraid the assembly is still locked in debate. What can I do for you? Hmm. Not... All right. Well, I guess I'm going to go do that shady shit. I heard there was a gray warden here. I am Doolin Forender, second to Lord Harrowmont, King Endrin's own choice as successor. Word is spreading that the surface may suffer a blight. It is shameful we are not in a better position to help. Hmm. I have nothing to say. I have a treaty obliging Orismar to aid. And that is a terrible risk for the surface. But even if the world would end tomorrow, Lord Harrowmont cannot ignore Balin today. He cannot afford to trust anyone of unproven loyalties. How can I prove I'm not working for Balin? <laughs> Stop playing games. This treaty compels you. Asking the king of Orzammar to send armies to the surface. But Orzammar has no king and we have no army. Right now. The men who should be fighting Darkspawn are brawling in the street. If this situation is not resolved, we face civil war. If you want Lord Harrowmont's time now, you'll have to prove you have no intention of turning against him later. How can I do that? If you mean it, you might attend the proving today. The Deshers take it very seriously. And unfortunately, Balin found some way to blackmail or intimidate House Harrowmont's best fighters into stepping down. So you'd like me to enter the proving? It would certainly make your loyalties loud and clear. Balin would never work with anyone who humiliated him in that way. Haramont would have no fear of meeting with you then. Honestly, I'd just and rather do that. Is that seems <clears throat> a bit more, like, Lord real. Foster. The key fighters we lost were Guidon and Beisel. You can look for them in the fighters' preparation chambers behind the ring. And be sure it's before the fights begin. After the first bout, no one may change the roster. If you need to find me again, I will wait in the Tapster's Tavern off the commons. There is no better place to hear gossip. Perhaps even word of your victory. Hmm. Yeah. Like, Balin is his son, but... It seems weird that they would just hand it down to him. Let me ask you this then, Morgan. What if there really was a maker? Then I would wonder why he has abandoned his creation. It seems terribly irresponsible of him. He left us because we were determined to make our own way, even if we hurt ourselves. And he could not bear to watch. But how do you know? You cannot ask him this. Perhaps he has gone to a new creation elsewhere and abandoned this as a dismal failure best forgotten. I do not need to know, because I have faith. I believe in him and feel his hope and his love. Ugh. Quickly, those who have no answers invoke that word. For and real. Who practices magic has so little capacity to believe in that which he cannot see. Magic is real. I can touch it and command it, and I need no faith for it to fill me up inside. If you are looking for your higher power, there it is. But only if you can control it. I do not envy the loneliness you must feel at times, Morgan. I. Leave me be. Loneliness would be preferred to this endless chatter. Oof. Get wrecked, Morgan. That was kind of a cheap shot from Liliana, but whatever. <laughs> Holy Patrick killed the ogre? That's sick. The Proving Grounds. Bloodsport entertainment for the masses. At its best. What the fuck was that? 
Have a dragon down Look, here? I already told the proving master I withdrew. You have to keep harassing me. Uh, how do you know who I am? Well, that sounded genuine. Um, if you weren't looking for me, do me a favor and pretend I never said anything. Uh, not so fast. Are you Bison? I am. So if you're not here to... How do you know who I am? <sighs> Intimidate. Uh, Haramont's hurt that his own cousin would walk out on him. Oh, don't put it that way. Look, it's just, when I was younger, I had a thing with this Idukin girl, Rebelka. Lesser cousin, nowhere near the throne. Her family wanted her marrying up, so they matched her with a BMO. But we didn't exactly stop seeing each other. Ah. I thought we were discreet, but she's married to a Desher's heir. He'd kill me if he knew. So I have to slink out of here like some worthless brand for fear Balin will tell the whole city. Well. Yeah, you're better off without you. I'll go home now. <laughs> Just make him feel like shit. Hey, go home. Punk. The proving or were you here to take part in the fight? Yeah, I'm gonna be Haramont's champion. Let me just put you into the schedule here. Now, is there a particular name you wish listed? You may call me whatever you like. No. We'll just I'm a Grey Warden. Grey Warden. Seeing as those human names are a real burr to pronounce. We actually have an opening in the first round. Are you ready to start? Uh, a so few things you. first. We'll find about as soon as both fighters are ready. Fights? I don't remember seeing you before. Uh, are you one of the fighters? Was. Name's Guidon. And I just tendered my resignation. Somehow I don't think the ancestors will favor me today. Dylan Forender asked me to talk to you. That man thinks nothing is beneath him. Well, you could just tell him I had my reasons. It's not so much what happened. Is what's going to. I heard from a reliable source Lord Haramont's already given up the throne. Balin called this whole proving to let his lordship <clears throat> save face when he concedes. Uh, that's oh, ridiculous. And where did you hear this that's more reliable than a member of the assembly? Intimidate. Doing, and I'm rallying honorable fighters I, uh, for Haramont. I suppose there's nothing his lordship would do without consulting Doolin. He's always been his top man. Maybe you're right. I, I'm just a warrior. I've always tried to stay out of these noble politics. If I find out this whole thing was some flunky of Balin's lying to me for his own gain, I'll... I'll... Get back in the proving and knock some heads? Maybe I will at that. Sick. Not even a hundred percent sure if I was supposed to do that, but still cool. I am ready. <clears throat> Quit stalling. I'm ready. The taste blood. I'll be right there. This is a glory proving, fought under the eyes of the paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. First up is Suwern of the Warrior Cast. Many of you remember when Suwern made history as a lad of twelve by defeating his own father in this very ring. Today, he fights as a champion for Prince Balan. Opposing him in Lord Haramoth's name is a member of the famed Grey Wardens. In the name of House Aiku and our future King Balan, First Tired of talking. Is Fight. Boom. Easy.
What the hell? Why did that take so long? That was an exciting start, Gordon. So where was <laughs> rarely trounced and so thoroughly. <laughs> it really wasn't that exciting. Oh my. Yeah, let's go. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. This round, Paramount's champion takes on the notorious duo. Two of them. The warrior cast twin terrors now fighting for Prince Balan, Biaja, and Luke John. May the stone honor. Prepare for a slaughter. Uh, yeah, first one to fall would be vanquished. You are correct. Now you fight, or crap. <laughs> now you fight as one. <laughs> Stomp over your bodies. The winner is the Grey Warden. Yep. Well, that was an exciting bout. Two on one, and you took them both easily. Are you ready for your next opponent? Uh, yes, sir. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Paramount's champion has held the field so far. But how will he do against one of the legendary Silent Sisters? We'll find out as the Warden faces Lady Hanashan, who proves her worth to Paragon Ashtis the Grey by coming oh. out her own tongue. What? She cut out her own tongue? By fighting in his name. Ah, is self mutilation supposed to frighten me? Yeah, no kidding. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. I don't even want to fight you with my this weapon, man. Boom. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? The winner is the Grey Warden! Paramount will be pleased, Warden. The Simon Sister's support was a great boost for Balin. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! I don't know exactly how this would settle anything politically. This is a glory like, proving. oh, these people are fighting in my name. Uh, if they are the stronger than Edward. my fighters, then I win this the vote. It's like, combat. no, it just means just you have better fighters. <laughs> it's just silly. But I wonder if back in the day people actually did that. Be nuts. Wojak Ivo has never won the same way twice. What will he Wojak. win today, lords and ladies? And will it win the day for Prince Balin? Grey Wolf, uh, something tells me second, no. For you face Wojak Ivo and Balan. I have no second. I fight Last alone. One standing will be declared victor. Fight! I think something's going to be Boom. 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 <laughs> That's the easiest shit I ever had to do. You wanted me to fight with a second? Come on, come on, fool! It's destroyed both of them. Even if this guy went the invisible, wouldn't like Wolden. it didn't help. <laughs> is there another Wolden fight? Is 
one of the best this arena has seen, Warden. Aramont picked wisely. Are you ready for your next opponent? <laughs> yes. That was go. a weird sound my throat just made. I wonder if the mic picked this that up. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Only two warriors remain. Fighting for his royal cousin Valen, Piotan Iduken has led his team to triumph over every unit so far. Challenging him on behalf of Lord Harrimont, the Grey Warden has risen from nothing to stand at the competition summit. Each will lead a full unit of four soldiers to see once and for all whom the ancestors favor. I dedicate my triumph to Harrimont's victory. No, I'm just kidding. I really don't care politically. Shut up and Last fight. One standing will be declared victor. Fight! Watch this, watch this, watch this. Uh, is this a little bit left? Oh, why are they all running? What the hell was that? Okay, well, I guess I'll do this then. Boom. This is not where I put it, but okay. What? Morgan died? How, bro? sucks I don't or I think she gets the XP still even when she's dead hopefully can't believe she died though it's nuts congratulations you defeated the man Prince tree and himself once called the horns of my army do you deny this gray warden has earned the championship then it is my honor to declare this Grey Warden champion of the Proving, who has shown that the ancestors favor Lord Harrimont. It was In an this honor. Day, we affirm the friendship between our city and your order. Cool. All right, what do I do now? Level up, I guess. Well, look at that. It's not often old Nadezda sees a fine dressed stranger here in Dust Town. Help the poor cripple. What are you looking for? Know her. I used to run with her. Jarvia took over the carta not more than a year ago, and already she's got every duster with both legs bearing swords for her. Where can I find easy. her? She's gotten real careful since Barak died. Real paranoid. She's got Carta members all carrying these finger bone tokens. She scratches some mark into them so she'll know they came from her. There's doors to her base all over the city, but only one is ever open at a time. And if you show up without a token, you'd never know it was there. Can't help you there, Salraka. The Carta members keep them real tight. Now, how about that coin you promised? <laughs> yeah, if you can't give me Jarvia, then no coin. To give. Where are you going? Aha. And you had no idea it was the What's warden. The uh, 
I don't know. Oh wait, I remember. Looks Die, like scum. Martyr, boys. <laughs> oh, blammo. <laughs> Fairly simple. You guys gonna drop any loot? Hmm. I wanted more, but that's alright, I guess. Oh. Oh crap, there's another trap there too? What stopped me? Weird. I sense something drawing near. Let's get started. Jeez, there's a lot of them. What do you wish of me? Do that for you. I finished.
Here's to you. A fine gift. What? Ever? You have my thanks. A terrible notion. A fine gift. You have my thanks. Interesting. A terrible notion. This. This is my. Oh, then he must have. Do you remember me mentioning? I. Wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. Aha, more. There's that door that continues through, or there's another door the other way. Oh, this isn't even a door actually, I don't think. Never mind. <laughs> it was. Ooh, I can see quite a few people in there. Doesn't look like there's very much in here. It's done. Well, underwhelming, but at least we know which way not to go. I detected that before you did. Same with right there. Oh, <laughs> never mind. There isn't even. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. Oh, of course. There is one there, though. Gotcha. Ooh. 
suck to suck. Let me out. I see you bear no love for John. Oh, let me out. Please help me. Yeah, let me uh, find a key here, bud. There it is. It is done. I don't even care. Just peace, bro. Thanks, man. Uh, help me do a good deed. That's it. My character doesn't really do many of those, honestly. Kill a lot of people. Suck to be that guy. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I thought I had more to loot back here. Well, it's kind of a cool little room. Just like you wanted.
That's a lot of injuries, too. Jesus. Will those just go away? Got it. Yes. Yes. There we go. Looks like that might be the correct way to go, so I'm gonna go this way. More loot, more XP. Oh, never mind. That's probably the right way to go. That might be the way out then. So Paramount finally realized we're taking the city, yet he still can't be <clears throat> to send his own men. Well, you picked the wrong side, stranger. It doesn't matter who's king, as long as there's a queen. <laughs> You're awfully cocky for someone whose entire carta is dead. Times over. Kill them, but leave the mouthy one alive. I have plans for him. Odin says <laughs> oh, really? Boom. <laughs> Doesn't even matter that she went invisible, so you can still see her. Well, didn't see her, but I could still hit her. Precisely why I swapped to you. Drop right ahead. What now? What's next? <laughs> okay, I think that's Just it. Like you wanted. gonna have to go back and go down that other route it doesn't look like it was the exit Why, uh, why isn't that thing attacking me? It's definitely supposed to be. Same with these things. Wait, I think I can still kill them. Come here, come here, come here, come here. And then I go like this. Cool. Right? No? It's not gonna work? Hope I do it. Hope I do it to this one. Well, wow, that's weird.
All right, Jarvi is dead, and now we're ready to go. The Carta Shop. That's weird. Gods, by all the beards of my ancestors, how did you? Where did you come from? You made a hole in my wall. That hole leads to a tunnel in the Carta's hideout. It, it does? Oh, sod it. If people find Bro, out about this, you definitely they'll knew. Ruined. They'll think I have something to do with Jarvia. You no, didn't know about I this? I don't have anything to do with them. They're criminals. When they built this part of the city, they must have built over some tunnels. I swear I have no I don't idea. believe that. Oh, just leave me alone. No I way do I believe that. And if anyone comes asking, I'm going to tell him you did it. Ah, oh, bro. You again. Here to buy something, or were you just thinking of breaking another part of my shop? Well, uh... I... Yeah, your daughter she wanted to do you. something. It's a whip at surface thing, but she's like a... Uh, I'm sorry she bothered. Perhaps I could take your mind off the insult by showing you around the store. <clears throat> you I'm guessing you haven't left yet. You I don't care if I lose my cat. Back in the diamond quarter, and we are gonna go talk to Haramont. Tell him that Jarvi is dead, and we will have the aid of the dwarves. After that, we go to the lands meet and finally confront Logan. Jarvia and her carter are dead. I suppose it was unrealistic to expect them to surrender. I really did murder every last single one of them. It's done. Will you speak to the assembly now? I have no desire to go back on my word. But when Balin heard the news about Jarvia, he raised the stakes. He is forcing a vote in the next two days. By law, that prevents the assembly from hearing any other pleas. To help with your troops, I will require your assistance one last time. Do you know anything of the Paragon Branca? Ugh. As a paragon, Get to the she point. even the assembly. Were she to support me as king, this awful debate would be over. If it will get you to the throne, I'll find Bronca. My men traced Bronca's disappearance to an ancient crossroads known as Caradin's Cross. It is many miles below where we normally venture, but I can provide a map to lead you there. Just enter the deep roads through the mines. Thank you again, and may the ancestors guide your steps. Oh, the deep roads. That's, um... That's where the darkspawn came from, I'm pretty sure. That's where the, uh, dragon is. The, uh, archdemon. Well, I guess that's the next stop. Going into the deep roads, and that'll be a lot of fighting down there. Because I bet you it's just packed full of dark spawn. Yeah, that uh, might be fun, Have might not be. Have you seen Warden hereabouts? I've been privy to the rumor that he, or was that she, 
Hey, you understand this was many mugs ago. It was searching for <laughs> Bronca on Lord Harriman's own command. I am the Grey Warden, and that would be a uh, he. Well, if you're the best they got, then standards must have fallen way down. But I suppose that would account for a human in Orzammar. Say, could I ask you a favor? Oh, yeah, sure. Why not? Hey, Everyone else does. And if you've ever heard of me before, it's probably all been about how I piss ale and kill little boys who look at me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> And what that's the hell? Mostly true. But the part they never say is how mostly I'm true. The one still trying to save our only paragon. And if you're looking for Bronca, I'm the only one who knows what she was looking for, which might be pretty sodding helpful in finding her. Ah, cut to the chase. I know. Or what do you Bronca want in return, and honestly? How she was looking. You, I assume, know whatever Harrowmont's men have dug up on where exactly she disappeared. If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. That means you don't have very much information for me. You need help is basically what you're saying. You should know. But that I guess we got a deal. The, of the, void, the secret to building golems. Which was lost centuries ago. The smith Carradin built it, and with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace while it was protected by the golems forged on the anvil. As far as anyone knows, the anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Bronca planned to start looking there, if she could ever find it. All she mm. knew was that it was past Carradin's cross. No one's seen that Taig for five hundred years. Well, we got a map. If we're going, let's get moving. Bronca's not gonna sodding find herself. Ah, we got Ogren now. It's a bit different. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna take you though, bro. Sorry. Sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. But, Commander, Lord Harrowmount sent the word to let the Warden pass. Ah, right. Welcome through then, Warden. I'd offer more assistance, but my command post is here. All of Ozamar relies on us to hold this line. Best of luck Thank you. Question. Yeah, Ozumar okay. Needs a paragon now more than ever. Don't worry, I'll kill enough Darkspawn. You can stay up here. I really should have, like, an entire party going with me if it's, like, five miles into the deep roads. It's a good chance I'm not coming back alive. Damn. Did I do Contag or Keridan's Cross? Well, maybe we'll uh, start that in the next video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. Thanks for watching. Stay sweet. Peace.